What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk about the concept of amplitude and vertical stretch or compression for trigonometric functions. Whenever you have y equals to sine x or y equals to cosine x, the amplitude is 1. Why? Because the coefficient of sine x or cosine x is 1 for these two cases, which means that the range is going to be from negative 1 to positive 1. Now imagine if you have 2 sine x or 2 cosine x. In this case, the amplitude is going to be 2 and range is going to be negative 2 to positive 2. So we have vertical stretch by factor of 2. Now next one is, let's say some, if we have something smaller than 1. So 0.5 sine x, 0.5 cosine x. In this case, amplitude is 0.5. So we have vertical compression this time because the coefficient is less than 1. And it's going to change from negative 0.5 to positive 0.5. So that's basically the vertical compression by a factor of 0.5. Sometimes we have a negative function, for example, negative 2 sine x and negative 2 cosine x or negative 3 cosine x. In this case, still amplitude is... Two. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, amplitude is always a positive number and still the range is going to be negative 2 to positive 2. So we have again vertical stretch by factor of 2 in this case but it is reflected over the x-axis because that's negative. So basically this is the concept of amplitude in trigonometric functions.